Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix the NSIS error in Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to rename the installer setup. To do this just locate the downloaded files for the program, then right click on the installer setup and then select the rename icon from the context menu. Now just change the name to one word and try to keep it simple. Also avoid using special characters or non-English alphabets since they are known to cause problems running the setup. Now you can check if the problem still persists. You can also move the installer setup to another folder. To do this locate the program installer, then right click on it and select the copy icon from the context menu. Now just go to the desktop, right click on an empty portion and select the paste icon from the context menu. Now that you pasted the installer setup just double click on it and check if the problem still persists. You can also update Windows 11. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and afterwards on the left pane just scroll down until you find the Windows update section and select it. Then on the right side just click on the blue check for updates button and Windows will now scan for any available newer versions of Windows 11. After updating just restart your PC and then check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to change the system language. To do this press the Windows button then simply type control panel and select it from the search results. Now in the control panel window just click on clock and region, afterwards just click on region and then in the new window just navigate to the administrative tab from the top and then click on the change system locale button. Now just click on the drop down menu and select an appropriate language which matches with that of the installer and then click on ok to save the changes. And lastly another great solution is to perform a quick SFC and DISM scan. To do this press the Windows button then simply type CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. In the command prompt window just type the following commands and press enter after each command. Now just wait a bit because the scan can take some time and then restart your PC. Afterwards just check if the problem still persists. And that's it, plenty of solutions to consider. As usual for more information and details you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.